welcome to another sketch tutorial so today uh, actually I made this video uh, there are there was certain issues of the previous video which is notification real-time notification of background notification so most of the uh, developers of sketchware they got issues in that and that uh, the app was a problem with iSkit and I fixed it and today I will explain everything and you will not get issues of the previous video so now let's start so in the previous video we created a project called notification project so this was the project so in the create um, actually first of all we have created a permission request network and a shared reference called I notice kit and notice kit also and we have enabled the library so this is android x version make sure and on create we have put a notice kit dot gen id gen id and notice kit channel name and notice kit channel id and notice and this uh, service uh, got by the and this block to add the permission so make sure you have to put the url as http uh, colon slash slash json dot io and the api key make sure this is uh, check whether this is correct uh, because most of the users got error in that uh, from the api and make sure the channel is uh, your channel uh, etc and the id should be unique and that that's it so so what's next is uh, how we can implement that in sketcher so most of the users they didn't get uh, actually proper so let's open ice kit and let's work it properly so how it works is um, sometimes uh, sketchy is sketchy ice kit is not working properly because the previous version was not worked as uh, we wished but uh, i have updated and now it's working perfectly so now let's uh, choose the project we have done so this was the project project notification manage project so here you have to remember to do few steps okay so first of all you have to open this window and go to sketcher and run and wait one to three seconds and then close the uh, and cancel it so it will come a manifest so this manifest is already gone so this is the type the manifest and make sure and uh, now you have to add the permissions this one this one this one and this one make sure you click the text because if you click the text checkbox it will not work as well make sure you click this one the text so now it's added now let's see whether it's added go to edit and edit done you can see this one is added this one is added this one is added this one is added the permissions are added perfectly so the number one is working so the second one is how to enable the library so just need to just a click so it will be uh, put a right and it will work properly so now let's start so service has started so now let's run the project so it says admin adding permissions and libraries and codes make sure uh, that message will come if that message is not coming please try and again uh, if it not comes please try to close the uh, ice kit and the sketcher and reopen sketcher and ice kit and then start again Make sure you have downloaded the latest version of IceKit, which is 1.4.8. Okay, the project is created, so notification is going. Okay. Okay, now let's uh, open and close everything. So now open, open it, and now let's close everything. So it will. Okay, now everything is closed. Now let's start to push the notification. So my API key is, if you don't understand this video, make sure you go to the previous video and learn how to make. This is like an explanation video because the previous was not very really cleared. So now let's go to push a notification and this one. So now let's click push notification normal. Say hi, hi again and just another key. Okay, published. Okay, notification published. Okay, now let's wait a few seconds. Okay, um, I want to explain is um, if you have any issues, uh, please let me know in the comment section because I will help as soon as I read. So I don't think now you will get some issues. And uh, many of users have said that um, uh, this is not working because of foreground services or etc. Make sure if you add the permissions and everything. It will work properly because uh, this library I made with the broadcast foreground service and normal services so first of all this app will run a foreground service and a bo uh, broadcast service 
the work card service will be working um, when uh, the phone is restarted actually so when you restart the phone the service will automatically uh, start like whatsapp uh, instagram and everything so if you want to see um, the running service make sure you go to the settings and enable the developing option and now i have enabled the de developing option if you don't know how to make sure you watch another video on youtube and make sure you enable it so i have enabled it and go to the running services and now i can show you that notification project is running in the foreground service like in the background so as you can see so this is the one so it's like two minutes when it started so the app is installed by two minutes so now we let's wait like four minutes like five minutes so it will work uh, the notification will come uh, work so this uh, you can see this uh, sample notification something um, this project also um, was made by ice kit and it, it is in under testing so now it's like 40 hours working on the background so no issues so my android version is 8 and there are some things uh, that should be clarified uh, that um, when you when you start the first time the app it will say tap to uh, disable the notification so that notification is disabling just the foreground and um, foreground notification don't worry about the other notification it will come perfectly um, that only notification will be removed um, and that notification will come only for 7.1 upwards like 7.1 10 only for those version in uh, back version like 654 it will not appear because that will uh, not working on four five six that foreground uh, notification will not come so don't worry about that only in seven point one eight nine ten so make sure when you make an uh, make an app with this library make sure you tell to the user that to disable this notification okay else it will be like um, wow there's a notification every time you can't remove it and that's it so make sure you um, tell you so you tell user to remove or disable or anything so now let's wait for now it's like three minutes going on right here okay three minutes like the range is five minutes so why is this long so many of the users have asked if there are limitation of notification no there's no limitations uh, it's unlimited just the time is between like uh, two to five minutes less than five it will be like six minutes seven minutes maximum is five minutes uh, i have tested a uh, hundred times and it will like five minutes so if the internet connection is slow um, that's not my issue and uh, make sure if you try to um, delete or edit the library i'm not responsible the, for that and if you use any sketch mode with this library i am not responsible and don't ask me any question because um, i'm making with the original version of sketchware so no worries of that and um, other thing I want to say is uh, maybe next video will be uh, how to uh, integrate with Firebase the notification. Maybe it will take like long time to uh, put that uh, tutorial. Before that, I am putting some uh, other other tutorials like uh, adding categories to with Firebase and maybe animations with five uh, Sketcher those kind of tutorials. So as we talked, now it's like four uh, forty five seconds, and here yeah, you can see. So now let's wait just a little bit, just like five minutes. So maybe you can see now. I okay, ah, okay. The notification is already come here. Okay, I have said no disturb, so that's why it not came. So notification has already come here, right? Just now, just now. Okay, yeah. Hi, hi. So let's open it. Okay, done. So it will not appear because I have said no disturb. So no, don't worry about that. So hope you understand. I have explained. Uh, if you have any issues uh, at this one also, please let me know in the comment section. So thanks for watching and please subscribe.